Hi all, today we are going to discuss in the black line how a reconciliation is performed using an amortizable template. As we all know that the black line offers the multiple default templates for the reconciliation purposes, amortizable template is one of them. As a system admin, while configuring the account information in the black line, assigns these templates to the relevant accounts. So the accounts which, for which the payments have been made in one period and the expense will be incurred in the future periods, amortizable template is assigned. So from the chart of accounts, all the prepaid gen accounts are generally listed and assigned to the amortizable template. Now in the black line, we have logged in into the home screen and we are logged in in the preparer role. From the left menu navigation bar in the product, under the product, we click on the view reconciliation. This will bring us to the reconciliations grid with all the accounts information. From the top right corner, we will ensure that the template column is there and we have the selected as the reconciliations only and under my assignments. You can see I have selected the reconciliations only from the drop down and in the team and the my assignments, I have selected team assignment because these accounts are not listed in my account. We, please put uh, your comments if you want to understand the team assignment and the my assignment and how the team structure works in the black line. I'll prepare the next video covering this topic. Next, in the field section, we will ensure that the team template column is included in the reconciliation grid. Click on the plus sign next to the field section field information, type the template, and once the template column appears, select the template and click on apply button. Now close the, uh, if we can either close this section and as we click on apply, the template information of all the accounts will start appearing on your screen. From this screen, either we can drag and drop these columns as well as per our convenient. I'm going to drag this template information uh, onto more on the left side. If you can see, I have dragged this information because now it is in front of my eye. So once it is done, we click on the right arrow again and close that information. Now we select the amortizable templates for accounts firstly to perform the reconciliations. So once we filter out all the amortizable template assigned accounts, we click on the edit button. Once we click on the edit, it will bring us to the amortizable template reconciliation screen. In this screen, we have the header information, which includes the entity account and the account description with all the account information. Then we have the amortizable items. This is the unique uh, information which is added into this template, which will facilitate to add all the payments which has been done and needs to read the amortization in the future periods. Then we have the supporting items. This will add all the open items for this accounts. And there is an unidentified difference. This needs to be zero percent in order to proceed and in order to certify this reconciliations. And then there is the GL balance. GL balance is the is nothing. It is the balance for this account, which is there in the ERP. A ERP, it is where the black line is well connected to the ERP. If this balance is, it can either be come into the black line either system from by system admin or with the automatic connection between the ERP and the black line. And then lastly, we have the in the screen, you will have the option to add the comments and the supporting uh, documents and the hyperlinks. So now let's understand in the detailed manner how to perform the reconciliation for the amortizable template. So the first step is the to click on this icon and understand what is this reconciliation. So once we click on that particular icon, all the permanent information which is there for this account will prompt in front of you. So with respect to that, what entity, account currency, key account, zero balance, risk rating, all this information is stored over here in this section. Then it's the, uh, it's the preparer responsibility to enter the company policy and the purpose. It can be pre-populated and can be entered by system admin, but uh, if it is not there, first the preparer has to enter the policy and the purpose for, as a one-time thing. And the next thing is to enter the reconciliation procedure that is followed to perform a reconciliation. Let's say to perform this reconciliation, 
the preparer needs the inputs from the ap team and all these steps we need, uh, the preparer needs to input over here so that all the procedures can be captured accordingly once all this information is there click on apply once we click on this information and it is saved even for the future periods also so the next thing is to add the amortizable items for the future periods there are multiple ways to add the amortizable item either to import it directly from the excel or to add it manually we will discuss the import uh, multiple items via excel in the upcoming videos now we will walk go through how to add single items manually click on this add amortizable item on the right side to enter the uh, any payment manually so the first information is to add the transaction amount it is the entire payment amount which needs to be amortized in in the future period or in the multiple periods enter the period and the periods information from which the this payment relates to there can be partial information partial calculation also uh, for particular month so all this information can be put in there so the one can see click on view schedule to understand what is the amortization amount for all the periods if in case we want to change any amortization amount for one particular month it can be amended by clicking on the pencil icon once this all this information is edited and is as per the accordance click on the save button it will bring you back to the reconciliation amortizable item screen enter the description information once it is there uh, we need to enter the comments and add the invoice or any other specific document pertaining to this amortizable item at this level once it is done click on the save and now you can see i have added the three amortizable items for this particular account and blackline will auto uh, auto calculate how much amortization amount is pertains to this period based on the period information in the amortizable item and the reporting balance and the balance will only calculate how much is the balancing amount following this particular period once it is there we can add the open items or uh, open items which is still under the suspense and which is still under the discussion uh, and uh, in the supporting items we have covered the detailed information in the how to add the open items in our previous video which we i will link in the comment section the last is the unidentified difference we need to ensure that the unidentified difference is zero before we proceed towards certifying and completion to of this reconciliation once the unidentified difference is zero percentile or uh, below the threshold limit which is set uh, which is set up as per the company policy you can add the comments and the supporting documents or the hyperlinks in case there is a central repository of the documents uh, once it is done read out the certification statement which is there as per the org any particular organization policy and then click on the certify once it is certified it the it, this reconciliation will go to the approver role for their uh, for their certification purposes thank you uh, that's all for today's video please comment and the like if you would like to see or make me, uh, motivate this will definitely motivate me to prepare more videos and share more information and do subscribe our channel thank you